the Clinton Avenue Reformed Church is proud to present Moses Stories for the Young. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our continuing Stories for the Young, where we talk about Moses, the great lawgiver. God gave him the Ten Commandments to bring to his people, the Israelites. Now, do you remember what happened last week in our story? I bet you do. But just in case you don't, I'll remind you. Remember, God sent ten plagues onto Egypt until Pharaoh said, get the slaves out of here. Remember? Got to put on my Pharaoh hat. And my Pharaoh scepter. And after the firstborn of all the Egyptians died, Pharaoh finally had enough and he said, go. Go, Moses, Aaron, take those slaves out of here. And so the slaves left. And Moses was leading them through the wilderness. Now, Moses did not particularly know where he was going. So God took care of that too. At night, God led them by a pillar of fire. During the day, God led them with a cloud. And they arrived at the Red Sea. Now, remember what happened at the Red Sea? By then, Pharaoh realized he had given up his whole labor force. And I guess he forgot all those plagues God gave him. Don't know how you can forget those. But by then, Pharaoh was stubborn and angry. And he said, I'm going to get those slaves. I'm going to bring them back. Pharaoh sent his whole army, all his horses and chariots, to go pursue the Israelites. And the Israelites could see the dust in the distance from all those horses coming up on the desert. Horses do make a lot of dust, especially in sand. So they looked at the Red Sea, and they said, ooh, that's kind of too deep for us to walk through, and we don't have a boat. And they looked that way, and they said, there's an army coming after us. Moses, what do we do? So, Moses, he said to God, God, I've done everything you asked me. God, I've got your people out. And uh, things aren't looking too good, to be honest with you, God. 
we're trapped. We got a sea over here, and we got this big army with all these chariots on that side. Um, you know, I don't want to get you mad, but what do we do? I mean, that's a good question, after all. And first thing God did was he sent darkness over the Egyptian army so they couldn't see where they were going. Watch this. Remember the darkness? See what you see now? Well, that's what all the chariots and horses could see. So they weren't going too fast anywhere. And then God said, Moses, pick up your staff. You're going to hold it high. I am going to part the sea. Now, I don't know how God did that one. I have no idea. Sometimes God uses nature in God's miracles. Other times God does not. You know, there's some people who say that maybe there was an earthquake under the ocean at that time. You've heard of a tsunami where the water recedes out, but then comes walking back in there? Maybe, except the Bible tells us that God parted the sea so that there was a wall of water on both sides. And I don't know how an earthquake could possibly do that, but maybe. I really don't know. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by parting waters. Here. I'm going to turn my computer here. So you can see this demonstration. See, here is my roasting pan filled with water. And Moses lifted up his staff. And the water receded. Moses and all the Israelites walked across dry land. And then, remember that darkness that Pharaoh had in front of his army? Well, that lifted. And so all of Pharaoh's army ran into the Red Sea. And suddenly the water came back. And the whole bad guy army was drowned. Wow. Now again, I don't know how God did that miracle. I have absolutely no idea. But God created the whole universe. So God's pretty tricky when God wants to be. And God always gets his way. He got the slaves across the Red Sea, out of Egypt. And the Egyptian pursuers were all killed in the process. So... God, mission accomplished. Next week, we'll talk about what the Israelites, the former slaves, did in the desert. But, you know, just as a way to help you remember the story of the Red Sea, I asked my daughters to sing a song about that. Now, this song comes from, I knew it, what, 25 years ago? 25 years ago, every summer for a week, I would volunteer to go to the Reformed Church camp in New York State. It's called Fowler. It's up in the Adirondacks. And every year, all the camp, counselors, volunteers, kids would all sing a song called Pharaoh, Pharaoh. And it talks about the people of Israel coming out of Egypt. It talks about the parting of the Red Sea and how the Red Sea came back to drown all of Pharaoh's army. So in just a minute, you're going to hear my daughter sing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. They grew up with that song. I'm going to ask you a favor, though, first. If you like these stories, would you please... Like, comment, and share these stories on Facebook. I'd appreciate it if you would. Okay, can you do me that favor? Thank you.
You have a blessed day and a wonderful week. Stay on to hear the song, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. I'll see you next week.